This article is based on speculation from various experts about optimistic expectations of AI, but scientific findings released today contradict those expectations and reignite apprehensions about AI's impact on employee overload and burnout. I will say one thing. For a second, let's pretend that AI will make you more efficient. Let's say that at one point you could accomplish this. Whatever this square represents, you could, you could accomplish this. But then with AI, you are now able to accomplish this. This means this is the new baseline. This is the new expectation. Whatever space you fill as an employee is the expectation that the company will have on you. This is why it's so dangerous to go into a company and work for your first few months, like 80 hours a week. Because then this is what they expect out of you. And when you decide to do something like say only 60, you want to take a break, you don't want to be working as hard, you want to just be a little bit, you know, easier on life. They're like, whoa, whoa, why are you underperforming? What, what's going on here? Like, are you okay? And really, you're not underperforming, you're vastly overperforming. It's just that what your perception of who you are versus what you're actually doing are not aligned in reality. If AI can make 40 hours a week appear to be 80, then your baseline expectation will be that. And so I'm a bit surprised that somebody with all this fancy credentialing did not immediately see this coming. Like you have all the credentialing in the universe. You're writing big fancy articles. Like how do you not know the basics of how a job works? Is it because you've been in academia too long and you don't realize that like this is just the world? Wherever you set your bar at, that's where people think your normal is. And it doesn't matter how Herculean your effort was to get to that, they think that that's normal.